Hello beauties, how are you all doing? Shaz here with another to buy or not to buy. We are going to be talking about new indie makeup because there's a lot of it coming. Beauties, somebody hide my wallet. I'm also going to do this eye look with Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes and also these brushes from Cosmic Brushes. If that sounds good to you, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Let's go into the video. Okay, beauties, as always, let's talk about my coffee that's here and candle of the day today is pumpkin spice. Yes, we are still doing pumpkin, although I'm sure you can see this other gingerbread candle that we're going to be seeing a little bit later. I still have to, you know, pumpkin season, realistically, I feel like just started in some states, so don't judge. And as you saw, we're going to be using Muse today. Cosmic Brushes has come out with some palettes that we're going to be talking about. And with that, I pulled out my Cosmic Brushes, the lavender brush set. This brush set is $25 from Cosmic Brushes, and I've had very good outcomes with it. And I was just thinking, you know, let's use these so you guys can see how it applies on my eyes. So that if you're planning on picking anything up from Cosmic Brushes during the sales, I'm guessing they're going to have a holiday sale. I don't know a whole lot about whether there is going to be a sale or not, but it would be unrealistic. Um, you know, brands make the most money this time of the year. This is an option to add to your cart before checking out if you are in need of a brush set. I think it, I think these are very good for $25. I'm going to be going to the gym like this. Oh, and beauties! Beauties! I received my Cleona orders and I'm so excited and guess what's on my nails yes beauties this is mulled wine that I've been waiting for for quite a while so as soon as I received it I was thinking to myself you know I have to use it and put it on my nails and it was that time of the week when I was sort of changing my nails so I'm so excited so I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while, so some of these I haven't talked about, although they have launched already. I'm just seeing that Holo Taco has released a new set. This is called After Party Collection. You know, everything is now holiday themed and Christmas themed. Now, I just came to earn... 10 20 something nail lacquers so obviously i'm not in the market for nail lacquers plan for later this year is to just use nail lacquers not to use press-ons because i have a lot of nail lacquers and i really need to use them and they're so beautiful so so saying that to say i'm not picking this up but you know i one of these days i will try holo taco just not this year because unearthly cosmetics has disclosed for us the holiday 2023 palette you can pre-order it already this is a beautiful palette but is it just me or have we been seeing a lot of these kinds of colors the purples to browns to pinks i almost feel like this i've seen before now of course this looks a little bit more cool toned but it kind of looks to me like this one and it looks close enough that I am thinking to myself, I have this, so I'm going to be using this. Beauties, most of the stuff we're going to be talking about, I'm not going to purchase because I'm kind of trying to go on a no buy. Also, Beauties, Minka palette from Adept that came out last holidays. That's also a very holiday -y palette that kind of looks similar in some color story things to this unearthly palette and I have that palette as well that I purchased not that long ago and I really want to use the Minka palette because it's a very holiday palette so that's the palette I'm going to be reaching for also generally beauties I am moving towards the direction of purchasing less pre-curated palettes unless the palettes are magnetic so that I can mix and match the colors in it to use it beyond just in a palette format and also, I'm prioritizing spending my budget on singles. So, this is a no, but it's beautiful. 
Good job, Unearthly. I'm gonna start putting MAC Painterly on my eyes as I'm gonna be talking about this palette, which is the palette we're gonna be talking about. So this is the reveal from Cosmic Brushes. It's a 20 pound palette, similar to these ones. So Gothic was a little smaller, but these are 20 pan, called Winter Wonderland. And this palette is supposed to have two multichromes that you can see in swatch photos. The price is $34, which is a pretty good price and it's dropping on November 17th at noon, my time zone, CST. Beauties, this palette reminded me of that. You all remember that people made a palette for ColourPop and sort of asked ColourPop. I remember there was like a sign up page going on saying like, sign this petition to ask ColourPop to make this palette. If I find a photo of it or if I find the petition, I'm gonna put it on the screen. But essentially what happened, this is a couple of years ago, when ColourPop had just started making 30 pan palettes, people were just kind of, unhappy with the fact that all the 30 pans were variations of neutrals so somebody curated an image of a palette and then people started signing the petition to request ColourPop to make that palette now ColourPop never made that palette but this palette kind of reminds me of that and to be honest with you now that I'm thinking about it maybe 30 pans would have been just too much so that palette is also photo on the screen variations of teals and blues and purples and this one is two it, it seems like there is two multichromes as i mentioned one is that is a teal to blue now teal to blue beauties is one of the most commonly used commonly found multichromes so i'm not super impressed but it's always nice to have multichromes in a palette and then the 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 one next to it in the swatches which is sort of looks like an iridescent multichrome i could see myself pick this up I'm just trying to make sure I'm not duping the stuff that I have because there have been some palettes that have come out recently like Sickly Sweet that I already have and I'm trying to think if there is any other palette I purchased recently that would have duped some of these colors because Sickly Sweet is also a combination of cool toned, very pastel-y type of colors. Other than that, beauties, these are my colors so it totally makes sense for me to pick this up. The issue though when something is your color story is that you're, you gravitate toward it so much that you might already have like many, many, many dupes of these in your collection. So, but $34 is not a lot, although Cosmic Brushes is a UK brand, so it has to come from England and you have to pay um, some amount for shipping. I think I want to pick it up, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's talk about this next one that I'm also very excited about. Also, beauties, again, reminding everybody, don't forget to use someone's code. Pretty much for every single brand that I mention, you can use someone's code. So just search online and figure out which code you would like to support and use it to get some money off. Don't pay for these things full price. So beauties, Adept had told us they're going to release Element 115, right? I've talked about it. I think I talked about it a month ago even. Now they have revealed the palette and it's this one, which is also kind of the same color story. Now between Adept and Cosmic Brushes, Adept has an advantage that palettes are magnetic, so pans come out, it's an American brand, so it's shipping from the US. Another thing is that I heard somewhere that they are going to restock a tiny batch of what was the other one? Samarian Sunset for Black Friday. And I've been waiting for that palette. So don't judge. Don't judge. Do not judge beauties. I have done a declutter. I have, I'm in the process of selling some of the palettes that I don't want anymore. So any money I'm making from the palettes that I'm selling is going into this channel. Don't judge. I might pick this up. I'm very likely going to pick this up. Who are we kidding? I'm very likely going to pick this up. Uh, beauties, let me say this. It's my birthday month. I can treat myself. And usually this time of the year, things go on sale. So 
I generally put a budget aside for purchases this time of the year because, for example, if you wanna buy electronics, this is the time to buy them. Similarly with makeup, this is the time to buy them because everybody's gonna have a sale. I know you're amazing friends who are not judging me. I feel like I'm just judging myself. And the reason I'm judging myself is because I pretty much want everything that is released recently. Let's talk about this next one. And beauties, I know some of you have been tagging me on some of these. Thank you so much, so much, so much for thinking of me and doing that. It helps me make sure what I'm talking about is things you want to hear about. Let's talk about this next one because I think I want this one too. For two reasons. First of all, this is what we're talking about. So this is Bejeweled from Bella Beauté Bar. The first reason I want this palette is because, I mean, do I even need to explain? This is beautiful. It's like jewel tone mattes and shimmers and very, very much up my alley. And the second reason, look at the swatches. It looks like it has a few multichromes. I don't have description. Let me see if I can find description. But the second reason is that beauty is I've been wanting to try Bella Beauté Bar this whole year and the year is almost over. So yeah, this is going to have mattes, duochromes, multichromes, and ultra metallics. And it's dropping on the 17th at 11 a.m. CST. I don't have a price. I read somewhere these are not going to be magnetic. I know Bella Beauté Bar has had magnetic palettes in the past, and when I say magnetic palettes, I'm talking about my palettes that, where the pants come out, and you can rearrange them, you can use them in custom-made palettes, and so on. So Bella Beauté Bar, can you confirm somewhere and let us know? And why is this not magnetic? Brands, please, make magnetic palettes, because I'm someone, and I'm sure I'm not the only person, I'm probably the only person who actually talks about it on camera, but I make purchase decisions based on this i need to know how much it is before i confirm but there's a high likelihood that i might buy this palette okay let's start so i'm going to use water lily which is a color i've never used it's a beautiful neon yellow and it is going to go in my crease and while doing that, let me quickly mention a few things that are launching from Divina. I think I talked about a few of them last time, but they have announced a couple more things. So just reviewing everything that I know about. They're releasing an eyeshadow base and a glitter primer. So to my understanding, they've never had such a thing, but they're releasing both of those on the 22nd. And I think on the 22nd, they're going to be 35% off. And they're also releasing a brush set. Uh, I heard from Deandra Irene, the owner of Divina Cosmetics, that it's going to be for chubby hooded eyes like mine. And they're going to have smaller brush heads. So if that's the type of brush you like, you might want to check them out. They're also launching on the 22nd. And then the last but the most exciting item that they have revealed so far is an eyeshadow palette. The name of the palette is Fantasia and this is going to be their first eyeshadow palette. My understanding is that the pans are magnetic so you can pull them out and use them, rearrange them and so on. You can see the little in the photo, the tiny round thing on the side of the palettes. Usually when that's there, it means that they're designed to be pulled out. I need to see better photos of these palettes, but this is a beautiful color story. I know I'm going to be purchasing a few things from Divina, so I, I first need to see better photos before I say yes or no, but there are possibilities. Also, as I said, this is launching November 22nd, and November 22nd is my birthday, so birthday present! I did not talk about this one last time, so let me do talk about it now. So this was already released from Glaminatrix. This is called Fairy Lights. I mean, I suppose you can use these on your eyes, but this looks more like a highlighter kind of a palette to me. I have purchased a lot of shimmery, glimmery type of things from Glaminatrix recently. I have their whole glimmer collection. And also, these colors look very similar to the colors in the Minka palette from Adept. In fact, the whole packaging looks like that palette. 
So I want to use what I have before buying new things. I'm now using CB3 to go into pine, this beautiful green, and I'm putting this in my outer V area. So this neon color, I feel like it oxidizes a little bit. It's a lot more green in the pan. Can you see that? That's not the color that's showing up on me now. Another thing is, you know, if you have a particular skin tone, that color is not going to show up on you. One thing I could have done to test this, maybe I'll do another time, is to use a white base. I don't have a white base, but I that's something I could have done to see what color shows up. Let me talk about this next thing, which is that it seems like Viseart now has two new 12 fan palettes, small ones. They look nice, but very, very neutral. Honestly, I don't even feel like I have these colors. But Viseart is a brand that I like to try at some point because I've heard amazing things about their quality. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be these two palettes, but I've also not managed to pick the palettes that I liked during their sales. So we'll see. I've just not had luck. It is the next thing that I saw that is kind of exciting, but well, I can't afford this is the new Sonia G eye brush collection called Fundamental Eye Series. This might already be available, but if it's not, it's coming soon to Beautylish. It's gonna have eight brushes. Four, it seems like were from before, but four are new. I mean, Sonia G is just way above my budget, but it's always <laughs> exciting to look at these. Yeah. If you've used Sonia G brushes and you have a particular opinion of them, I would love to hear it. Now that we're talking about eye brushes, it looks like Sigma Beauty collaborated with Alexandra Anil. I'm trying to see if I can find a price for you. I mean, this looks nice. I don't think I'm going to use any of these because the other than the middle two brushes in this image, the other ones are not brushes that I really would use frequently. And then I do have a brush cleaner um, silicone thing. But it's always exciting to see people collab. I'm now going to pick this brush and I'm going to go into this color fig. I'm using this under my lower lash line like that. And I'm going to turn the brush around and use the part that is less used and go into haze this light brown color and i'm gonna just buff the color out a little bit with this okay beauties let's talk about a few more clarity cosmetics has shown a few things that beauties i'm just i don't know i feel like i'm gonna go bankrupt this holiday season <laughs> somebody come and take my wallet please they have released photos of these two palettes. Now, I don't know if any of these existed before as a palette, but they are both very, very beautiful. I'm particularly super excited about the top one. And those creamy, multi chromy shifty looking shimmers. I don't own anything from Clarity Cosmetics. I think they were also on my list of things to try this year, so... If I pick something up, it's justified. I don't have any more information about prices or anything or whether these have been released or are going to release, but I'm excited. Beauties, this one also, <laughs> this one also I'm so excited about. This one is called Jingle Bells Ruby from Dee Dee Signature that just came back. I mean, those jewel tone greens and rubies and burgundies and what looks like super shifty shimmers. What are these brands doing to us this holiday season? Brands, think about our budget. Also, this palette is $32. I'm trying to see if I'm, so, so the, the six shimmers are going to be duochromes. They're not multichromes. But I've heard great things about DD Signature, both mattes and shimmers. So, and I would like to try something from them. Okay, friends, let's do use a little bit of NYX. I finally found my glitter primer. It was on my desk. That's how it usually is. It's like right in front of you. You just can't see it. I'm now going into patina with my finger. And this is going across. 
across my lid. I'm leaving a little space at the inner corner so that I can use another color there. This one is Resurrection from Wicked Widow Beauty. Looks kind of stained glassy. This is a standard rainbow palette, including some completely neutral grayy black kind of colors. I don't really need these colors, but I do sort of watch Wicked Beauty from afar to see if they release something that is very exciting for me. I just don't think this palette is the one, particularly the there's so much has launched that I'm just like, take my money. That in comparison, this one isn't as exciting. But it's beautiful. I love the packaging. Yeah, also this is almost $80. That's quite pricey. However, it's supposed to have 10 multichromes. So 10 multichromes, 2 duochromes, and 12 varieties of mattes embossed with the symbol of life. I mean, I do feel like it's kind of pricey, maybe not for 10 multichromes, but I've never tried Wicked Widow Beauty, so I don't know if they ever had multichromes in the past, so I can't vouch about the multichromes. I don't know anything about their quality or anything. And I like to know more before I decide I want to pay 80-ish dollars for a palette. Let's talk about this one. This At the time I'm filming, this has not been revealed. Who knows, maybe by the time I put this video up, it's going to be revealed. But this is the new What's Up Beauty palette called Dragon Eye. And it's supposed to have seven blinding multichromes and duochromes. And five creamy mattes. We all know we've heard amazing things about What's Up Beauty's quality. I remember the past few palettes that they had, everybody was going crazy about. Was it called Geode or something like that? I haven't tried anything from What's Up Beauty palette or otherwise. I've been eyeing their brush sets because everybody's been telling me they have amazing eye brushes, which are also super pricey. This palette's going to be $45. It seems like it's going to have 12 colors, so I don't know if it's worth $45 for 12 colors. I'd like to know your opinion. It seems a little pricey for me, but this is also launching on the 17th. Everybody is launching stuff on the 17th. Gods of budgeting help us. But I can't wait to see this. I kind of have a hunch just based on the packaging. If it's going to be those colors, it's going to be literally the same colors as every other palette we've been seeing. So we're going to get a lot of dupes. And now that we're talking about these kinds of colors, and by these kinds of colors, I'm talking about variations of teals and blues and purples. Let's talk about another palette that is also the same kind of variations. And it's this one. This is the Land of Enchantment palette from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. Now, I love Ensley Rain because they have this fantasy land kind of themed. And, you know, my name is Shahrazad, so I'm all about fantasy and tales and whatnot. And I have been eyeing Ensley Rain for picking something up. So when one of you tagged me on the packaging of this palette, I was like, huh, I can't wait to see what's inside. And I'm actually here for this one. The only complaint I have is that this palette reminds me a little too much of Aura Struck from ColourPop. Now, obviously, Aura Struck did not have any multichromes and even duochromes. Even if they had duochromes, it was simple duochromes. Because ColourPop doesn't really go much into very fancy duochromes and multichromes. So I'm definitely curious about this to see the swatches and so on. But if I put the hat off, well, too much is launched. What can I say no to? This would be one of the palettes that might go in the maybe bucket. Maybe to no bucket, yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I have the ColourPop palette. Now, one thing I love about Ensley Rain is that everything is magnetic. So palettes, the pans come out. I mean, you can see in the photo those that little circle on the side of the pan. The other thing is I unfortunately don't have a price for this palette. Ensley Rain is a little pricey. Even for palettes smaller than this, they charge 80-ish dollars. Now, I'm not going to get into whether that's a good price or not because I've never used them. I have no idea. But can I afford it? That's the question. And, you know, if this palette ends up being a hundred something dollars, I don't know if I can afford that right now. 
Okay, beauties, quickly with this one, it's CB5. I'm going to go in to inspire this beautiful shimmery lime green. And I'm putting it in this inner corner area, bringing it down, and then taking it up. Let's quickly talk about these new releases from Odin's Eye because I know a lot of people are super excited about these. So this is already available. They dropped on November 10th. They have brought back the two Christmas palettes that they had last year and have added two new palettes. So the palettes from before were Merry Christmas palette and Christmas Eve palette. If you remember, everybody was waiting for them to launch. And at that point in time, I was out of the country and I thought by the time I get back in, I'm going to order them. But what ended up happening was that they had one restock and then they never restocked it again. And that was it. So a lot of people wanted these and now they're back for around 45 ish dollars and they have brought in two new palettes, the Snow Dream and Hey Reindeer. Again, same price. And as I said, these are already available. I'm pretty sure you can use someone's code to pick these up. I have been contemplating because I really wanted the particularly the cool toned one from last year, the Christmas Eve one, but you know, it's like I missed the boat on that and now I'm not interested anymore. And the thing is, as far as the new ones are concerned, I like the one that has those pinky shades between the two of them, but I still feel like there's a little bit, not enough logic in that palette. Now I do have to say, there are a lot of palettes out there that had a had a color logic that I couldn't understand, like Dark Fantasy, like Palatopoly, that if you saw my last video, I ended up loving. So, you know, not understanding the color logic doesn't mean a whole lot, but I can dupe these, I'm pretty sure. So I said all of that to say, I'm probably not gonna pick any of these up, but if you've picked any of these up and you're blown away by the performance, I would like to hear about that. Write to me in the comments below. Okay, beauties, I put a little bit of this ColourPop lipstick in the color Snow White on my lips off camera. Let's talk about this one. This is a collaboration between Rosie McMichael and Beauty Creations. This is the second volume. I don't know, Rosie, I'm just going to assume she is a content creator. This whole bundle is $115. The aesthetics of this collection is very Jaclyn Hill. And the palette, which is usually the first thing that I look at, doesn't... What is going on outside? I'm sorry if you're hearing car noise. I don't know what's going on outside. Yeah, the palette, which is usually the first thing that I look at, you know, it has a lot of the colors that we talked about from the palettes that we were just talking about, you know, teals and purples and pinks and blues, but in comparison looks much more bland. Now, I don't know if it's the packaging, if it is the fact that it has essentially one row of what looks like cream color, variations of cream colors. It doesn't look exciting to me. That's what I'm saying. And you know, of course, I'm also looking for a reason for passing on things because there's a lot of exciting things that are coming out. So I'm passing on this one. I've also never used Beauty Creation. Are they are they good quality? If you have used, let me know in the comments below if they have good quality. I'm just curious. Beauties, let me also mention this one because Glaminatrix is one of my favorite brands. They have been having this mystery bundle for loose pigments for a while now. I just checked their website, it's still available. $25, you're gonna get eight loose pigments. This might have even been available when I picked up Rich Romantic. Now, I don't use loose pigments. I'm an insanely clumsy human being and loose pigments is gonna not be a good idea around me, which is part of the reason why I didn't pick this up. Otherwise, I would have totally wanted to test these, particularly $25 for eight. I think that's a pretty good price. So just wanted to say, this is still available. If this is something you would be interested in, I highly vouch for Glaminatrix. Now, although I've never used loose pigments from Glaminatrix, judging by the fact that their other things have pretty high quality, I'm sure the loose pigments also have pretty good quality. 
And beauties, I can't find anything else. I think that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to write to me in the comments below if there is anything releasing that you are excited about. Thanks so much for being here. I love you all. Have an amazing day and until next time. Bye.